McDonald's Big Mac, it's more than just another hamburger. There are two all-beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, and onions on a sesame seed bun. Seven great ingredients working together to make one great taste. Two all-beef patties, special sauce, cheese, lettuce, pickles, onions on a sesame seed bun. Get the idea? All right, so let's try recreate the Big Mac, but let's make it indigenize and make it the Res Mac. Here we go. All right, let's make the sauce. What we're gonna need for the sauce is mayo, relish, mustard, barbecue sauce, apple cider vinegar, onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, and salt. All we wanna do is get a mixing bowl and put all the ingredients inside of it and then we're gonna mix it all together until it's beautiful sauce. Now we're gonna get our pickles and move that aside. Then we're gonna get our onions, chop it up and move that aside and chop up our lettuce and move that aside. And once we have all of this, these are the main ingredients for our Big Mac and we're just gonna go ahead and put this away in the refrigerator. Now the Big Mac was originally called the Aristocrat and the Blue Ribbon Burger, but the name Big Mac was created by Esther Gleckstein Rose, a 21 year old advertising secretary who worked at McDonald's corporate office in Chicago. Now, when she presented the name Big Mac, she was laughed at by the higher ups, but she got the last laugh because the name stuck. All right, now that we got everything prepared, what's next is to jump into the pony wagon, head on over to McDonald's and go get a couple Big Macs. Hi, could I get two Big Macs? Thank you. Big Mac? Yeah. All right, so just got back from McDonald's and we're gonna open this guy up and look at what's inside of this Big Mac and see if we could recreate it into the Res Mac. All right, so here's the Big Mac and all right, so inside I'm pretty sure you guys know what a Big Mac kind of looks like but on top it doesn't look like there's anything on there then we got this really thin patty super thin and looks like they only put one pickle in there come on now that's, that's super cheap let me open that up yeah so one pickle and so I'm thinking we could do a little bit better than that. They got their lettuce and their sauce on the, the, the bottom of this. So that's right here is like half a burger, half of the burger. And so the bottom half, this is what we're looking at. Looks like, you know, little bits of onion and they got their cheese kind of melted on there um, and more lettuce and more sauce and then the bottom bun. That's pretty much it. There's not too much to this um, Big Mac and I, I think we could do a little bit better with our Res Burger. The other day I prepared some Bannock dough. So instead of the sesame seed bun that we see at McDonald's all the time, what we're used to, um, we're gonna make some Bannock and maybe I'll sprinkle a little bit of sesame seed on top of it. Two, hold on one sec. So earlier this year, it's been a dream of mine to go and hunt elk. You know, I hunted many things. I hunted deer, uh, moose, uh, rabbits, you know, things like that. And I've never got an elk, a elk, but this year I got an elk and um, I did the process of grinding this elk up to make a hamburger. And so that's what this is, is elk. So we're gonna use elk burgers with our bannock and 
all the ingredients other than that are the same that goes into a Big Mac meal. And so that's what we're gonna do today. All right, so now we're gonna cook everything. And so I'm gonna just flatten out the fry bread, the bannock, and these are gonna be used as our buns for our Big Mac burger. And so I wanna make sure that they're the right size for the burger itself. The next thing we want to do is heat up a frying pan, get it nice and hot, and throw in a little bit of cooking oil. So I got some vegetable oil here, and I'm going to put it on the pan. And then I'm going to grab one of the elk burgers as a ball and kind of smash it down. So these are like smash burgers made with elk meat. And you want to cook it to your liking. And so I flatten that out, and then I'm going to turn it around, cook it on the other side. And basically, we're gonna repeat the process for our other burger itself as well. And then while this is cooking, we're already thinking about our buns. And so I take some of the fry bread dough and I put it in another pan that I'm gonna deep fry on in some oil. And there it is, we got three of our ready to go. So the trick is, like, do we create a Big Mac like this? And make like the ultimate Big Mac. That actually looks cool, eh? All right, I think we're gonna go with this. So let's make this happen. All right, so I think we got everything we need here. We got our two buns, we got our middle bun, we got our elk patties, we got our, our pickles, we got our secret sauce and our lettuce. And just wanted to let's bind these together because I put it in the fridge just for a little bit the Big Mac out of here. All right, here's the Big Mac. And we're gonna see, could we make this burger? Onions and cheese go on first. So, this is our bottom. All right, to make the burger itself, we're gonna grab our bun, we're gonna put some sauce on there. I like a lot of sauce, so but you could put as much as you like for yourself. So I'm gonna just spread that all over the place here. Throw in some lettuce on top of that. And again, as much as you like, and then put some onions on there. The next thing we do is put our cheese, and I grab the torch, so I'm gonna melt it, give it that good look as well. And after that's done, I'll top it with our first elk burger. Throw a little bit of lettuce on top of that, and then close it off with our middle bun. And so now that is there. Now I'm just looking at what else is next. So put some more sauce on the middle bun. There it goes, as much as you like. I like a lot of sauce. Throw a little bit more lettuce on top of that, and some white onions as well and then some pickles. I like pickles, so I'm gonna put a few more pickles than what McDonald's does and close it off with our second elk burger. And then we just top it off with our last fry bread bun. All right, so that's our, our res mac. We finished it all up. The only thing left to do now is to taste it to see if it's actually any good. So. I'm actually gonna get some help to eat this. I got uh, my wife, Marissa. Um, all right, guys, come on in. I'll hey, have hey. this. Okay, I'm for her. Right, we'll cut this up. Okay. Okay, keep up. Regular Big Mac, you know, we're gonna cut it. That's how it looks. Can you get a close up of that, cameraman? I really want that one. And then this guy, oh my goodness, is our Res Mac. What do you think of that? Good stuff. All right. All right. Should we should cut it up like maybe like a half It's more. actually easier to hold like this. You try. All right. How's that? Dude, it's the whole thing. <laughs> it's actually really good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it tastes like the Big Mac, but better. I guess I don't know. Like, like this because the sauce is very, it's like <laughs> almost the same sauce. I did pretty good. Hold on, let me try again. Cheers. Mm. Mm. 
This is so good, I don't know if I'm just hungry mm. or if it's actually this good. Mm. Mm, it's so good, hey? Mm -hmm. I think we gotta make this a supper idea. We're all getting panic video, so we're gonna take the rest of this time to eat this awesome Resmac and enjoy this awesome evening. Thanks for watching. Peace.